Let's take a look at the number of lone pairs and bonding pairs of electrons for OF2. This is oxygen difluoride. So when we look at the Lewis structure, we always need to start with a valid Lewis structure. We're usually looking at lone pairs and bonding pairs of electrons on the central atom, on the oxygen here. That's because those are the ones that influence the molecular geometry or the shape of the OF2 molecule. On the oxygen, we have a pair of electrons here between the oxygen and the fluorine, and another one here. These pairs of electrons between atoms, those are bonding pairs. This is a covalent bond here, a single bond. Same thing, covalent bond. So we have two, one, two, bonding pairs of electrons. A lone pair, that's not bonded to another atom. So we have one here and another one here on the oxygen. So we have one, two lone pairs. So two bonding pairs, two lone pairs. And these will influence the molecular geometry for OF2. Let's take a look at that. So the purple, that'll be that central oxygen atom. Let's add our two fluorine atoms. One, two, they spread out far away as they can from each other. And then we have those two lone pairs. They occupy space and they'll repel each other and these fluorine atoms. We add one, pushes everything down. We add another one, pushes it down some more there. So we end up with what's called a bent molecular geometry for OF2 because we have these two fluorine atoms and then the two lone pairs there on the top. Let's go back. So to recap, we have one, two bonding pairs of electrons and then two lone pairs of electrons on OF2. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.